Hello guys, Joe with BitRaged. So we did reach structure here on the Bitcoin chart and how we reached it and what happened when we reached it is very interesting. So I want to show that to you. So if you look at this structure here, this descending channel, it looks very similar to the one we had over here, right? So this is what we were working with. So we were working with this we had this move up, a drop down, now we have this move down, right? And the move down is even more corrective, you could say, than this move up. And so that is a decent signal that something might be turning around once we get to the bottom. Also this candle here, this candle here, so we had an impulse down, and then the next daily candle completely retraced that move. And that's usually an indication that something is turning around. So we jump down here to a four hour chart. Just look at this. So there's a couple things I want to highlight here. Uh, one of them is when we were back here, let me just replay this for you. So we were right about here. So when we were here, you could draw a little bit different of structure. And that's important to note because you have to evolve your structure. And how you evolve the structure is if we move outside of that structure, that pattern, but we don't progress. And there's no real impulse, there's no real movement, but we move outside and then fall straight back in or just move correctively. Then we can evolve that structure and know that we're doing it properly. So you could have drawn something like this, right? You could have drawn that. We had the bottom here. What does that look like? It looks like a falling wedge, right? And that's typically a very bullish sign. But if you look at what happened here, let me just play this for you. If you look at what happened, we'll speed it up. We moved out correctively had some more corrective movement, moved all the way up to here, and at this point, let me pause this, at this point, we moved up, got this rejection, and you could take this as a continuation pattern, but how you know that that's not accurate is because we fell out of it. And so that invalidates it, and we can evolve our structure now because this move here is very corrective. So we evolved our structure, and now we have this descending channel right? And it just farther validates it when it falls down. And that's how you know that you can evolve structure safely. I'll show you what I was looking at here. So we were looking at this structure here, this descending channel. We got a descending channel and a descending channel inside of that channel. So probability is even higher when you have a larger structure and then a smaller pattern inside of that structure that mimics that. So if we jump down to a hourly chart here. All right, so I was looking at this uh, for a cell and it's looking at somewhere right around in here. And I was expecting this to sell off and it did sell off. But the important thing to remember with all of this is we have this structure to deal with. And so I knew that if we sell off, we're going to react somewhere in this area. And so we broke down and you can see when we broke this, it went straight into an impulse. Came back up a little bit, kind of moved sideways, and then gave us this. So at this point, we can kind of evolve what we're looking at here and get a better idea. So I was looking at something like this at this point. I was looking at that and this is a reversal pattern. So we have a descending channel and then we have a descending channel. So basically you have one big descending channel, a smaller descending channel and then a reversal pattern which is a type of a descending channel. And all of that together combined with the structure we have here is a really good indication that this might be turning around. So the only thing I'm looking at here is the potential for this to create a third touch. So if we look at this, 
we could move up to here, create a third touch here, fall back off, maybe even create a double bottom. If we do that and create a double bottom here, that is going to be really good for a buy. Because we know that historically, Bitcoin favors double tops, double bottoms. Uh, just look at this here. Double top, double top, up here. Again, we have this double top here. So we know if we get a double bottom down in this area, that it's going to respond well. But it's important to keep an eye on that because if we do fall off and create a third touch here and then fall off, we may not get that double bottom. We might fall straight through. So that's potential. That's possible. But just looking at the overall structure, the overall pattern, this is looking pretty corrective. This is definitely corrective. And then we have this reversal pattern. And so here's what I would be looking for. And here's a couple scenarios to play out. So I'd be watching this. If it breaks above this, then we're likely to be looking at this area here because we do have two touches here. We could get that third touch, fall back off, and maybe even get that double bottom or fall straight through. The reason why I would be looking primarily at this point at longs because we have this corrective structure, we have this corrective pattern, and then we have this reversal pattern to back that up. The other thing that you really want to be aware of is on the daily chart, we have one touch, two touch. There is the potential for this to go back up for a third touch. That potential is there since we don't have it yet. And I know that we were looking at Bitfinex data before, and on the Bitfinex chart, we do have three touches on this structure. But I switched to Coinbase, and I'm using Coinbase data now because it's much clearer and it's less erratic. The structures play out better and line up better. It's cleaner. You get the same data on each chart. It's just the Coinbase chart has cleaner data. It looks better. Uh, so that's why I'm using it. And we don't have the third touch here yet on Coinbase. I am looking for this to, to move to here at least. Obviously, we're right there. And then if we break that, come up to this structure. If we break that, we're looking at the outer structure. Uh, but a couple scenarios you want to keep in mind is a third touch here and then a double bottom or a fall straight through or a move above this and then maybe even a third touch or if we get a pattern like this. So if we get a similar pattern that we have here, up here, then I wouldn't be buying that. I would be waiting to see if it starts to break through and if it breaks below that's when you want to start selling it. So those are a couple scenarios that I have for Bitcoin right now. Now a lot of people have criticized us because we've said over and over that Bitcoin is not in a bull run. It's not bullish by any means and we're still very corrective. Um, but on the other hand, at this point, we are looking at buys because the market is showing us a reversal. Now this doesn't mean that we're going straight to all-time highs. Doesn't mean that at all, and the probability of that happening from this structure, the greater structure here, is very low. Very, very low. But it does mean that we could potentially move all the way back up to right around 9,000 and create that third touch to then drop off. And so that's the scenarios you have to keep in mind. When you're trading, you have to project and understand every possible scenario because then when it happens you're not caught off guard and you can react accordingly. If you only project one scenario and then that scenario doesn't play out then you're just left thinking well that's a trade that went off without me um, that's something you just can't understand TA doesn't work blah 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 but if you project every possible scenario you look at every option then when any one of those options happen you're prepared for it. And so here's what we're looking at. If we break above this structure here, this descending channel, that's going to be a really good indication that we're going to move back to the outer structure. So we could get something more like this, a continuation type pattern, and then a move up. 
If this moves correctively, like it's done here and here, then that is going to be a good indication that we're likely not to break this. Or even if it moves impulsively and then we get to the trend line, get to the structure, and then it creates this ascending channel, that's going to be a good indication that we're likely not to break it. I don't see us breaking this structure here uh, simply because of the pressure we had to sell. The overall pattern, if you just look at a weekly chart here, we'll look at this again. We have this big impulse. This is just a continuation pattern to head lower. So a couple other scenarios that you should be aware of is what happens if we break above this structure? Does that mean that all of this is invalidated? So if we break above here, that doesn't invalidate all of this. We could just be creating a little deeper or a larger flag. For instance, let's say we broke above and we get something more like this. Now, keep in mind, I'm not setting price targets. I'm just showing you what could happen. So let's say we get something more like this. And price moves up to here and then falls back off. What does that look like? It just looks like a flag, right? So we still have impulse. We still have the correction to move lower. But it's just creating a bigger version. It's just creating a deeper version. And so nothing has changed, but we just created a bigger version and maybe even a clearer version. So if this happens, that's going to be even stronger. So that potential is not off the cards, and it's something that you have to be aware of. Because if you're not aware of it, you're not planning for it, and it happens, you're going to be caught out. You're going to be buying, you're going to be selling, you're going to be trading not knowing what's happening. So that is a scenario that you have to be aware of that could play out. But overall, until the market shows us otherwise, shows us something different, we're still looking at this for a big impulse and then a corrective structure to move lower. That's what we're looking at. But short term, we are looking for the potential for a buy. And at this point, we're only looking for a buy if we break out of this impulsively. And then we get some sort of a pattern to continue this run. That's when we'll be buying this and maybe even running all the way to structure. But we're definitely going to be watching this area here. And then we're going to be watching the outer structure. It's very interesting though. I've been watching this for a couple days and I've been noticing this forming. And it's just forming really nicely. So Bitcoin is looking very good for a short term buy and a run up. At least to this structure here that is if we don't get that third touch on the smaller descending channel um, but at least to that descending channel here and potentially even to this trend line we do have the potential like i said to break out all the way up to here and then come back down because that would just create a bigger version of the same thing and nothing would have changed we're just creating a bigger version so that's important to realize that can happen and it doesn't change the overall analysis. It doesn't change what we're looking at. But it's important to keep that in your mind. But that's about it. That's all I have for you. Thanks for watching. If you have a question, leave it in the comments. We'll get to those as we can. Take care, guys.